just in. New York City residents woke up to a stunning new look for the Statue of Liberty. It somehow was transformed into its original new penny look overnight. The NYPD and the FBI are combing through street view camera footage looking for what must have been a huge team. The mayor says he is stunned and vows to catch the group who did this. We have contacted an expert in metallurgy. We have Ben Sanchez on the phone. Ben, how do you think this could have been accomplished overnight without anybody noticing? Well, we know that at least a thousand man hours will be required to simply polish one arm of a statue. Frankly, we are baffled. Ben, uh, please stand by. We are receiving a live feed from the FBI headquarters. We have Don Nelson with the FBI in Washington on the phone. We have apprehended the alleged vandal. He actually called FBI headquarters moments ago and turned himself in. His name is Dino Raquel from Apopka, Florida. Initial interrogation indicates that he claims to have done this himself with no other assistance. He says it was a clerical error. He insists he had an order to polish the plaque below the Statue of Liberty and claims he misread it and polished the entire statue instead. He tells authorities that he has a magic metal polish that allowed him to polish the entire statue by himself overnight. The bottle's been confiscated for testing and obviously we're checking with psychiatric professionals to assess Raquel's mental condition. All right, back to you, Ben. What do you think of this? It is not humanly possible for one person to accomplish this task even in one year's time. This is obviously a mentally unstable individual that may have had nothing at all to do with this vandalism. All right, we are now going on the street live with our reporter, Barbara Waters. What are you hearing out there, Barbara? Tony, the folks out here have mixed feelings. Ma'am, what are your thoughts about the Statue of Liberty and the apprehensions and confessions of Dino Raquel? So I like the new look. I think that the poor guy that confessed, he should be in a mental institution. And I'm pretty sure that the FBI will catch the group that did this. Sir, what are your thoughts? I like the shiny new look. I actually feel more patriotic. As for Dino Raquel, he's a hero. Baba boy! Well, the comments on the streets are mixed. This is Barbara Waters with BSC News in New York. Back to you, Tony. All right, we will have updates throughout the week on this bizarre story. For BSC News, this is Tony Salerno.